Alrighty, this is 48 Conclay again. Uh, I have here, uh, I did another video of my wife, she got a Glock 30S. Uh, and I got myself a little gun for that would lend a little bit easier carrying for me. Um, I, in my other video, uh, I was saying that my wife doesn't really want to carry inside the waistband. She'd rather do purse carry or have it in her vehicle. Uh, she works a job where it really doesn't lend well to her actually carrying on the job. So, I have a different situation, and I do have my Glock 29, which is safe here. But, you know, this is this is heavy, it's real thick. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good carry gun. Uh, you know, I probably will carry it when I'm, during the winter, I live in Michigan, so... There's going to be a lot of the months where I'm going to have a thick winter coat and some long sleeve shirts. And it probably would be real easy to carry this. Uh, but what I got to kind of help with my efforts is, as you can see it's a Glock. Um, but I did pick up, at the same time we kind of bought them together. So uh, let me get some of this out here. As you can see, I'm sure that is empty. This is a Gen 4 Glock 33, uh, chambered in 357 Sig. Right there. Yep. Uh, so biggest things. Um, I was looking at. I was thinking a couple different rounds. Uh, I, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough to go with what. You know, it's tough to pick a carry gun. It really is. Um, I wanted something lighter than a 29, obviously, if I was going to carry inside the waistband or do any kind of summer carry or anything like that, really. Uh, but this gun, I landed, I was kind of going back and forth between the Glock 27 and the 33. And as far as, you know, bullet characteristics and performance-wise, uh, I kind of was leaning out on towards the Glock 33. Uh, it's kind of got, you know, at the bottleneck cartridge, I have an empty one here, but the bottleneck cartridge it's it's a uh, you know I, I what I read on it, it it seemed pretty interesting and I want to try it for myself and the good thing about these is if I want to switch to a 40 all I gotta do is buy a cheap 40 barrel for it because uh, they basically are the same exact gun um, <laughs> except for the marking on it so but you know and I got this gun because it is a lot smaller than my 29 uh, but this you know I was going from the Glock 29 to this and that's a huge difference there. I mean, I don't know how much it might look like on there, but it is just a, substan a substantial difference here. Even when you kind of stack them, it's shorter in every dimension, thinner, and a lot lighter. So I think it lends well to, to carry. Um, and, you know, it, I could have went, like I said, I could have went with some other cartridges, but the, the Glock 33 is just something I was kind of interested in so I went ahead and went for it and I uh, shot a few rounds to it. It is kind of snappy I will say that. Um, then again I haven't shot a ton of rounds of it so I really haven't gotten a good figure on it and at best I can kind of I mean the the energy levels uh, you know I, I bought some American Eagle yeah American Eagle ammo and I'd say, I think on the box it said 505 uh, foot-pounds of energy, which kind of puts it into the Glock 29 10mm range um, of what I've been kind of shooting through here. You can get a lot warmer with the 10mm, but for a carry gun, I think that this is probably going to be the warmest I'd want to, you know, for concealed, tight, deep cover or whatever. I haven't decided, you know, if I want to do inside the waistband or on the ankle or what. But... Um, you know, it is just a, a lot, lot thinner, smaller profile, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Uh, but this, like I said, this is a 357 SIG, and you know, it, it is a snappy recoil, but it's definitely manageable. I've I've shot a pretty tight group. I've only shot about probably 15, 20 rounds out of it so far, so I really can't give you more than just kind of a first impression of it, but. I will definitely shoot a lot more through it, and as a reloader, people have been saying that you know ammo is going to be tough to find. But I definitely I haven't really ventured into a lot of bottleneck cartridges yet, and you know I figured I'd give it a go with this. So 
uh, that, that'll be a future endeavor for me. But, so yeah. So this is definitely a, a lot smaller gun and like I said, it's, it's a pretty smooth shooter. It absorbs the recoil pretty well. Um, fits good in my hand and I'm, I'm a bigger guy so this is probably going to be pretty easy for me to tuck away. So I was looking at single stacks but I don't know. I, I felt a couple different ones and it's just like, it, you know, really to shave just a quarter inch off of something, it, it really didn't make too big of a difference for me. And with me being a bigger guy, it doesn't really, it really, I didn't see it as really mattering that much. I, this gun's pretty light anyways. You can tuck it away and it's not really going to make a big difference. Um, I know a lot of people were excited for the Glock 43 when it came out, but you know, this it's really not that much smaller than this. Uh, if you hold them right up next to each other, I mean, it's it's a little thinner, but I mean, this also is a 357 SIG, so that's got a lot more velocity and a lot more uh, power coming out of the barrel. But at a cost, I mean, you do have a lot more recoil and wear on the gun, but that's, you know, I I will shoot this a lot. I plan to. If I'm going to carry it, I'm going to be sure as hell I'm putting a lot of rounds to it, so that way I can make sure I'm proficient. So, but this will lend to better carry than my 29, so... Uh, I mean, could have went with probably a multitude of different different calibers or different guns or whatever, but this is what I decided to try for a while. If I don't like it, you know, I'll be a gun whore and I'll trade it in or something down the line. But I think I'm going to like it, and if I don't like it, I can get a 9mm barrel for it and treat it like it's a Glock 26, or get a 40 barrel and treat it like it's a Glock 27, or do just any number of different things for it. So, but, uh, yeah, so, so far I re I'm really digging it. Um, it's real compact and it's light and you know, it's got a good standard Glock trigger pull. That's the one thing I do like about Glock. Uh, it's a very consistent trigger pull across the board. So, that is the new addition to uh, my carry needs and I will definitely do a kind of a shooting review on it and try to showcase some of the recoil so you guys can see what I'm kind of talking about. But it definitely is. It's a cool caliber and it's a cool, uh, cool gun. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.